What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, with that being said, my friends, uh, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy. Thornton Mellon style. Here we go. And this comes from Dave. Dave says, hi, Pete. I've been door dashing for about four months now, and I've done about 600 deliveries. I recently started watching and subscribed to your videos. Thank you for subscribing. I have a question that hopefully you can answer because DoorDash support can. Anyway, I have all five star ratings and all thumbs up, no thumbs down for my customer rating. So I've had a perfect five star rating until today. I haven't dashed for four days, and all of a sudden, my customer rating has dropped to an overall 4.88, but I still only have all five-star ratings. I've spoken to three different DoorDash support workers, and they all give me this standard answer. Sometimes customers take a long time to leave a rating. We can only take ratings into account after a customer has left them. So there may be times when your customer rating changes a long time after the delivery has been completed. This will likely be why you see your customer rating change even if you have not made any deliveries. This isn't really a big deal for me, but I just want to understand how I can have an overall 4.88 rating when all I have is five star ratings. Feel free to read this to your viewers if you want. I know there's bigger issues and problems to address than my problem. Just please refer to me as Dave if you do. Anyway, I hope you can shed some light on my stupid situation and keep on uploading your videos. They're great and very helpful. Thank you, Dave. Uh, first off, thank you for the compliments on the channel. I really appreciate it. I've been doing this for four years now, and uh, I'll keep going as long as you guys keep watching. So, with that being said, uh, it is not a stupid situation, Dave. This is a serious situation, because the fact of the matter is this. If you are doing your deliveries and you're doing things properly, and it sounds like you got a good head on your shoulders, just the way you articulated the email, uh, and it seems like you take the job seriously. I mean, you're 600 deliveries in in four months, so you know you're you're doing you're doing a good job here. With that being said, yes, that generic response that they give you is true. That it seems that a lot of uh, you know bad ratings can come in even when you're not out physically dashing. Um, so with that being the case. The thing that's confusing here is if you have no thumbs down or anything, it's strange that the ratings are also dropping because you would think that the ratings with the thumbs up and thumbs down would correspond with each other. To me, it sounds like there's some sort of a glitch in the system because other drivers, I made a video not too long ago uh, talking about a similar topic like this where, or where a dasher was saying, I don't understand why my ratings are dropping. I haven't been dashing. It always seems to be the same thing. When people are not dashing, their ratings start dropping. And I, I feel like this is becoming an ongoing trend over and over and over and over again. So with that being the case here, something is up, okay? And here's another thing to keep in mind. When you contact DoorDash support, okay, to speak to these people, a lot of these representatives are, are you know, very new they're reading off of scripts and they are not dashers themselves. So they don't really know what's going on in the field like we do. You know what I mean? Is really what it comes down to. So they're just going based off of these scripts that they're given to read to us. What you need to do when you contact them is you got to say, can you please let me talk to a supervisor? Can you please let me speak to a manager or level three escalations? That's the department that they don't normally tell you about. When you call and you really want to get some answers, ask for level three escalations. And if they don't know who that is, ask them to transfer you to somebody else to get some more details. I myself do not have a 100% answer with this, but again, I'm noticing the trend here because the more that you guys contact me and let me know what's going on, we can start piecing things together and figure out if something's a glitch or if something is intentional. This is sounding like a glitch, but it's starting to head into intentional territory, if you will. So drivers, dashers in the chat or the comments, why do you think this is happening? If he has no thumbs down on his ratings, why is his rating from 5.0 now down to 4.88? 
just miraculously over the course of four days. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you guys uh, out there ever have anything you wanna send me, something like this, a topic, a story, a question, an article, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description or the pin top comment. So yeah. Anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So with that being said, everybody, uh, when you hear your name called, I uh, leave a comment and say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate it. So yeah, if you guys wanna sign up, links are down below in the description of the pin top comment. Definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, with that being said, who's gonna be the next patron? Maybe it'll be one of you, let's find out. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope every single one of you out there are saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below. Make sure to check that out. Uh, scroll down, click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. And from there, what it'll do it'll, is it will uh, tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you use. And then from there, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, everybody, make sure to check out paidtodrivestore.com. We have lots of new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Links in the description or the pin top comment. Definitely don't forget to check it out. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment saying end 257, E-N-D 257. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And with that being said, until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep hustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.